New Colossus tank out in gray. What is going on guys? So we are going to show you the difference between easy bar curls and straight bar curls. We get asked this very often, so we decided to make a video to show you guys what's up. <laughs> All right, so when it comes to the easy bar curl, your hands are less supinated, so it's gonna be a lot easier on your elbows and your wrists. So I'm gonna show you how they're done. So the slight angle of the easy bar curl is gonna put your wrists and elbows in a more comfortable, natural, and safe position. This is gonna decrease the risk of injuries that many people develop over time from curling with a straight bar. So the biceps aren't activated as much because when you're in a semi-supinated position, which is between supinated and neutral, your brachioradialis are, is brought into the movement more, which will decrease the activation of the biceps. All right, so now we're moving over to the straight bar curl. A lot of people ask the difference. They see this bar, they see the other bar, they're not sure what to do, why it's are two different bars. Quite simply, one is just basically, like Kyle said, to assist you in not getting as much pain. When you're fully supinated, it's leaving you up to a lot of strain for your wrists especially, as well as a bit of your elbows. However, with proper form and technique and using a proper, appropriate weight, you can avoid that most of the time. So, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate you can see my arms fully supinated, I got a good grip. I have stronger wrists, so I'm okay with this, but you wanna make sure your elbows are back, your posture, and you're curling up under good control, nice and slow down. Okay. Up, slow down. Up, slow down. And just do one more. You're coming right up, making sure you're getting a good squeeze, then you're lower. So within this, the benefit, like I said, is more supination, is more engagement. In conclusion, is the straight bar more worth it than the easy bar curl? Not necessarily, you need to consider injury. If you're doing something like this and you're doing it perfectly and you're not getting injured, then that's great and that's a perfect world, but that might not necessarily happen. And if that injury does happen, that can set you back one to eight weeks, which is something you really want to avoid, especially if you have weaker wrists. Some other great alternatives to help with this are wrist wraps if you need to be using the straight bar. I use it, I actually don't get injured. I guess I'm that lucky 1%, but that's that. Thanks for checking in, Josh and Kyle, peace.